Oh my god, a ball of them! This place is crawling with them and they're mating! Ava, what's the name of this beach? Melone's Beach! This is insane! Ava, did you see these things? This is crazy! Race found them! These things are inches away from being decimated by the coastline, by the sh water coming up, and they're just piled on top of each other. This is insane. For those of you just joining us, Ray Scott and I have just stumbled upon a once in a lifetime event. It's a major congregation of the St. Andrew's cotton stainer bugs. These insects provide a window into human history. What's totally insane is that this place is just a coral graveyard. Look at the coral. Take a look at this. Like synchronized dancers, they remain locked in position while mating. Odds are the female is the larger of the two, as she will need to house the eggs. may seem hard to believe. Starting back in the 1600s, Africans from Sudan, the Congo, Senegal, Guinea, and Sierra Leone were brought to the Caribbean and forced into slavery. By some estimates, 15 million human beings were ripped from their homes in Africa and were enslaved to harvest sugarcane and other crops like cotton. The Caribbean was a transition point between the United States and Africa. So yes, even the Caribbean shared in this poisoned past. As with all introduced and oftentimes invasive species, Cotton eventually brought insects, including the St. Andrew's cotton stainer. By the mid-1800s, slavery was eventually abolished, but the insect still remains today. If you think these two look like they're in a hurry, you might be right. As it turns out, their entire lifespan is on average just 60 days. In fact, the eggs only take about seven days to hatch. The entire ecosystem is on fire with action. We've got pelicans feeding. Right beneath our nose is another trash. insect species. These are ants that have adapted Taking to survive the on the beach. This is the trash dump. The trash dump is here. Expedition New England. Stick with us. Mm -hmm.